Lion vs. Buffalo The ultimate predator vs. prey battle Lions and Cape Buffaloes have a well-known predator-prey relationship in the African savanna. Lions are apex predators and hunt buffaloes as a primary source of food. Cape Buffaloes, on the other hand, are known for their aggressive behavior and have been known to attack lions in defense of their herd. Lions, the world's most social felines, roam the African continent's savannas and grasslands, hunting cooperatively and raising cubs in prides. African lions have been considered for centuries as symbols of courage and strength. The Cape Buffalo, also known as the African Buffalo, is an African bovine species known for its massive body and unpredictable, aggressive and revengeful demeanor, and is thus widely regarded as a very dangerous animal. This is also why man has never attempted to domesticate these animals. They are considered one of the most dangerous animals to hunt on foot and are one of the big five African game animals. Size and Description Lion males can grow to be 10 feet 3 meters long with a 2 to 3 foot 60 to 91 centimeter tail. They range in weight from 330 to 550 pounds, 150 to 250 kilograms. Lions have powerful forelegs, teeth and jaws that they use to pull down and kill prey. Adult males have shaggy manes that range in color from blonde to reddish brown to black and their coats are yellow gold. Age, genetics and hormones are likely to influence the length and color of a lion's mane. Young lions have light spotting on their coats, which fades as they mature. The African buffalo is quite impressive in size. They range in length from head to hoof, from 4.26 to 4.92 feet, 130 to 150 centimeter, and weigh 935 to 1,910 pounds, 425 to 870 kilograms. These are large hoofed mammals with imposing horns on top of their heads. Males and females both have horns that they use to defend themselves against African predators such as lions. Their size and appearance vary based on the subspecies. Their short fur is dark brown, black or reddish brown. Range and Habitat African lions are highly adaptable big cats that can live in a wide range of habitats, including semi-arid desert areas and even extremely dry environments like the Kalahari Desert. They prefer open woodland and dense bush, as well as scrub and grasslands to stalk their prey and find shade during the hottest part of the day. African lions were once found across the majority of the continent, but are now only found in sub-Saharan Africa, with 80% found in eastern or southern Africa. Tanzania has three of the top five largest populations. Lions have disappeared from 12 sub-Saharan African countries in recent decades. Buffaloes can be found in Kruger National Park and its surrounding private game reserves, as well as Addo National Park and the Shishui Infolozi Game Reserve. They can also be found in several provincial reserves, as well as private game reserves and game farms where they have been reintroduced. Buffaloes are carriers of foot and mouth disease, as well as bovine tuberculosis. As a result, they are not permitted beyond certain frontiers because they may infect other animals, particularly cattle. All buffaloes reintroduced outside of these areas are disease-free buffaloes that have been bred elsewhere. Buffalo prefer vast open savanna grassland with long grass to graze on. They are frequently found in reeds or riverbeds and rely on a good source of fresh water. 
Food Habits Lions hunt a wide range of animals, from rodents and baboons to cape buffaloes and hippopotamuses, but they primarily hunt medium to large-sized hoofed animals like wildebeests, zebras, and antelopes. Prey preferences differ geographically and between neighboring prides. Lions are known to prey on elephants and giraffes, but only if the animal is young or severely ill. In open savanna, lionesses do the majority of the hunting, while males usually steal the females' kills. Male lions, on the other hand, are skilled hunters and hunt frequently in some areas. They typically stalk prey from nearby cover before exploding forth in a short, rapid rush to bring it down. After leaping on the prey, the lion bites at its neck until the animal is strangled. Other members of the pride swarm around the kill, usually fighting for access. Despite their viciousness, Cape buffaloes are herbivores who only eat plants. They are grazers, meaning they eat grass, as opposed to browsers who eat leaves and shrubs. When these animals eat their grassy diet, they regurgitate it later to chew a second time, just like other members of the Bovidae family. This process, known as chewing cud, acquired immune deficiency syndrome in the complete digestion of the grass. They usually graze for a few hours and find a shady spot during the hottest part of the day to rest and chew their cud before returning to grazing. Behavior Lions are the world's most social felines. They live in prides, which are groups of related females that may include several to as many as 40 individuals, including adults, subadults, and cubs, as well as one or more resident males. Pride mates form subgroups within the pride. Females usually remain in their mother's prides their entire lives, unless food scarcity forces them to leave. When young males grow large enough to compete with dominant males, they are driven from their prides, usually between the ages of two and four. They form alliances, typically with brothers and cousins, and look for a pride to take over. Males who join a new pride will kill any cubs who cannot flee. Males take on most of the defensive duties. However, both males and females mark their territories by roaring, which can be heard up to five miles away, and scent marking with urine. Unless they are pregnant or nursing, females are receptive to mates for a few days several times a year, and mating motivates ovulation. They typically have a litter every two years. Buffalo typically gather in herds of medium to large sizes, which consist of both male and female members. Within these herds, there are hierarchies among both males and females. However, there are also bachelor males, known as dagger boys, who have reached the end of their sexual maturity and are no longer able to compete for females on their own. These bachelor males are considered outcasts and tend to exhibit more aggressive behavior. During the breeding season, which occurs strictly in certain seasons, calves are typically born around the same time. In areas with abundant food and water, herds of up to 2,000 animals have been observed gathering together. The herd is very group-oriented, and members will take care of each other, even if it means protecting blind or disabled individuals. Wounded buffalo will often seek refuge within the safety of the herd. Who would win? A lion or a buffalo? Let's find out. Cape buffaloes and lions have a natural rivalry and are often observed engaged in combat. It is believed that Cape buffaloes cause more lion fatalities than any other animal, but the rivalry is not one-sided. Due to their great size and power, a one-on-one -on -one encounter between a Cape Buffalo and a lion usually results in the lion being defeated. However, a group of lions can overpower a single Cape Buffalo 
by using their collective strength. In some cases, a single lion may be able to take down a calf or an injured buffalo without the help of the pride. When it comes to a one-on-one -on -one encounter between a single Cape buffalo and a single lion, the buffalo is almost always victorious. This is primarily due to the Cape buffalo's immense size and strength, which the lion simply cannot match. Moreover, the Cape buffalo has an advantage over the lion in terms of long-distance running. Although the lion is faster at sprinting, the Cape buffalo can outrun it over a longer distance. Another factor that makes the Cape buffalo a challenging prey for lions is the thickness and density of their ribs. Fully grown Cape buffaloes have ribs that are like armor protecting their chest and organs from the sharp teeth and claws of the lion. Due to their aggressive nature, Cape buffaloes will not back down without putting up a fight. They will utilize their remarkable strength and massive horns to try to toss the attacking lions away or even gore them, resulting in their demise. Using their thick neck, head, and horns, Cape buffaloes can throw the lions several meters away in the air. Therefore, in a face-off between a Cape buffalo and a lion, the buffalo would always emerge victorious as long as it stands its ground and doesn't retreat. The only chance a lion has to overpower an adult buffalo is by biting its throat or windpipe, which can only happen if the buffalo is knocked off its feet. However, it is almost impossible for a lion to knock down a fully grown buffalo due to its massive weight. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. Until next time, farewell.